Hi, welcome to Linux help tutorial. Today we are going to discuss about VM stat command. It is used to display the virtual memory statics and also shows the kernel threads, system processor details, interrupt and the CPU activities and much more. Let me see how to use the VM stat command with available options. So before starting your VM stat, you should install this sysstat package so then only the vm start vm start will be work now after I installed your package i am going to run vm start without any option so hit enter now so by default it will be shows the memory details so here the free and siso is the important field so siso is stand for swapped in every second from disk and the SO is stand for swapped out every second from the disk. Now the first option I am using VM start with uppercase V. Hit enter. So this is used to check your current version of your VM start. Now the next command if you want to display the statics result with some time interval and some line counts by following command. So this is the command here vm stat is 2 for time interval 2 second and 6 for your time co your counting lines so after enter this command hit enter so the result will be produced every 2 second with 6 line count so your output will be executed with every 2 seconds with 6 line counts now the next command to display the summary of various event counters and memory statics by using vm stat so execute this command by using hyphen s command after enter this command hit enter so this is your output of counter and memory statics by using vm stat hyphen s now the next command to display the disk statics by using vm stat with the option of hyphen d so after enter this command hit enter now output shows the disk statistics so this is to check the disk statistics by using vm stat now the next command now display your memory statics in mb format so after under this command hit enter so now your memory status will be mentioned in mb by default using vm stat it will be mentioned in KB format while using VM start iPhone S using M it will be mentioned in MB format. Now the next command in VM start going to display the slap info by using VM start iPhone M. After under this command hit enter. So this is the method to check swap info by using VM start. Also this is your output of your swap info. Now the next command to increase the width of the output column of VM stat. After enter this command, hit enter. Now your output terminal of VM stat will be width will be increased. So if you want to verify, you enter VM stat without any option. See, your width will be little bit reduced. So using hyphen W to increase your width. Now the next command to print the timestamp at the output terminal of VM stat. After under this command hit enter your timestamp will be added. Here your current date and time will be presented here. If you want to verify means go to previous command VM stat after enter this command see this here no time span will be specified by using t time span timestamp will be specified. Now the next command to display the statistics of disk information by using following command here vm start iphone p and enter your disk name so, so after enter this command hit enter now this is the disk partition information of your disk now the next command to display the number of forks now the next command is to display the number of fork by using vm start iphone f after enter this command hit enter now it display all the fork system calls made by the system since the last boot 
so this is the method to use vm start iphone f to check your fox these are the method to use your vm start command so that's all about this tutorial we'll see you on another video thank you